Sao de Crap. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm JP Mistanta, and it's Wednesday, September 26th. We got a lot to get to, so let's get started. All nine Phuket people, including seven police officers involved in the fatal shooting of a 29 year old Thai man last week, are set to be charged with attempted murder. The news was confirmed by Phuket Provincial Police Commander Major General Tita Pol Tip Jarwen although he added that the charge is still pending an investigation. It's the fatal shooting of the Karol native, Chitnu Ponka Jan, who jumped a checkpoint in Phuket town last Tuesday, prompting a police chase that led to Chung Tele, where he was run off the road in Sri Sutton Road, and he allegedly pointed his gun at cops, which led to them fatally shooting him. During the chase, CCTV cameras caught Chitnu Pong hitting three motorbike drivers waiting at a red light on Depkasatri Road, and those people are now pursuing legal action against his family. But over this past weekend, the family of Chitnu Pong staged a protest demanding an investigation into the incident, saying that they believe police used excessive force. Yesterday's announcement of attempted murder charges comes after the seven officers and the two civil defense volunteers were transferred out of the province pending an investigation by both the prosecutor's office and Region 8 police. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Patong Mayor Chalim Lakepsa is hitting back against rumors that trees along the Patong beachfront were cut down because they obscure views of the bay from a nearby resort, saying they did it for safety reasons. Mayor Kepsat told the Phuket News Thai language sister newspaper, Kao Phuket, that the strong winds have brought down many trees and that they've hired a contractor to remove dangerous trees from the Loma Park area and other areas deemed necessary as a precaution. The buzz began online on Monday morning as several people online accused Patong municipality of cutting down the trees for the benefit of a resort near the beachfront. The Thai government is set to build greenhouses to grow their own premium grade medical marijuana, all as the government pharmaceutical organization, the GPO, begins clinical trials of marijuana on humans. The move is a preliminary step to producing medicines out of cannabis and is finally moving along after the cabinet approved legislation back in May permitting research into the effects of medicinal marijuana in a milestone move after some lobbying from researchers at Katsetsar University. Until the greenhouses are built, the trial project will use 100 kilos of confiscated marijuana provided by the Office of the Narcotics Control Board, with the research team expected to extract about 10 to 15 liters of pure oil from all of that to develop medicines for treatment of things like epilepsy, reducing side effects of chemotherapy, and potential substitutes for morphine. The first phase of the trial will start this month and be done by December, as the GPO director says that they plan to work with Katsitsar University in developing a premium strain for testing, and it's all part of the Ministry of Public Health's about face in promoting marijuana as an alternative form of treatment. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Sit tight, Phuket Show will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The bodies of the husband and wife who were killed in Pre province have been unearthed by police on their own property yesterday morning and it all comes after three men say the wife's brother ordered the killing for 50,000 baht. Hours of intense interrogation prompted confessions from the three men that 64-year-old British national Alan Hogg was shot at his home and a 61-year-old Thai wife Nod was beaten to death just last week on the same day with their bodies buried next to each other in a hole about two meters deep on their big property. 
The suspects who allegedly confessed include the wife's brother, Warut Sachakit, who said he planned their deaths as revenge for their constant criticisms of him, and he himself was arrested after CCTV footage showed him entering the couple's home and driving away in the pickup truck last week. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. About 8 million is how many views this Facebook video has gotten so far, showing a nurse violently handling a patient in his 90s in the intensive care unit of a Pizza New Log hospital. The 19-second clip was posted on Tuesday afternoon, showing the nurse at Buda China Raj Pizza New Log hospital violently handling the elder man, quickly garnering millions of views. By Tuesday night, just hours after the video was first posted, the hospital director and the acting nursing chief profusely apologized over the incident, especially to the family of the patient who suffers from emphysema, saying the nurse will face disciplinary investigations and will be reassigned until the probe is done and she won't be allowed to deal with patients anymore. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.